You know what I love? I love me some long irons. The problem though with long irons is a lot of people struggle and you don't need to struggle. So today I'm going to give you the five keys you must know to be able to pure your long irons. That felt good. So first up is going to be our ball position. Now we're, here's how we're going to do this. We're going to start with our feet together, ball in the center of our stance, club right here, club in the center, everything in the center. It's a great place to start Then grip. Then just take a little step forward, little step, just right there, half a foot, a few inches, six inches, then take that back. That's going to be your perfect ball position. That club is, or that ball is on my left eyeball. It's right there. Now, that is going to be your proper ball position for your four, three, two irons, hybrids, all the way up until driver. That's just fundamentals right there, three woods even here. Then driver, you can go slightly there. You could do driver here too if you want to, but for the most part, this is your long iron ball position. That's gonna be key number uno. Next up is the, the, the second most important thing here, if you want good long irons, is going to be our hand position. Now, if you have proper ball position set up, you should be in the perfect position because I didn't move my hands when I did this. I did everything in the center, club, ball, hands, little step, little bit bigger step. Now I'm good. I didn't even move my hands, but so many people, they do this. This is going to be disastrous for any long irons because you're moving that hand forward in order to square that club face, you have to shut it. And now you've de-lofted a three iron and made it like a negative one iron. Those are hard to hit. You don't want to do that. Let's not make life more difficult than it is. Keep the hands in the center. I don't even care if the hands are slightly behind the ball. Don't get your hands in front of the ball. Don't do that. Keep them here. If they are here when you start, you have room to move them forward. And you would de-loft that club a slight bit, but that's what you do to make good, proper compression impact on the ball. Slightly, a little bit. But if you start here, you have nowhere to go but back. You're gonna de-loft it. Your weight's gonna stay back, you're gonna fat it. So if anything, make the mistake, keep them a little back, then forward. All right, and I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you hit that like button and I'd appreciate it. If you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. All the gear, info to products and things like that that I use and recommend are in the video description below. So be sure to check that out. Sign up for my newsletter too if you want. Uh, send you some cool discounts and deals as they come along. That's where I do all my giveaways too. So you wanna join that as well. All in the description next piece of the puzzle for long irons is going to be this. It's going to be our aim, our aim. All right. So when we're aiming, you got the setup, you got your hands. Good. That's going to solve most of your problems right there because in your hands get forward, your shoulders get out of whack. That's part of your aim. Okay. If that ball position's incorrect, then you're going to do weird things with your foot aim. We, so most likely, we're gonna solve everything just with proper setup. However, here's what I want you to do to mess around with it. I always want, good, so you got the good setup. Now, I want you to really aim left with your feet, but square with your shoulders. So just put that here. You're gonna hit some shots and see what it produces. That felt good. Okay, nice. And then I want you to do it the exact opposite as well. Never with the shoulders. I always want the shoulders square, but now I'm gonna aim the feet the same, like a degree or two to the right. And then my shoulders squared up again, and I want you to see what result that produces with everything else being the same. Why do I have you do that? Because chances are you're off one way or the other. We always want our shoulders square to the target, but our feet tend to get off. So we feel like we're aiming left and try it, feel like we're aiming right with our feet and try it. Ultimately, you're gonna start hitting great shots right then and there, and you'll be like, oh, now that's where I need to feel and what it needs to look like when I'm out there playing golf. So it's just kind of a little drill to re, let's say calibrate what you're doing. 
and that will help. So practice that, practice that, you'll be good to go. Moving on. All right, we're down to the final two little pieces here that are really gonna fix you up. Here is uh, probably the most critical technical thing that we do wrong, and then I have a drill that's gonna shore it all together, and you know, whoosh, rockets down the middle. All right, so you, everything's good. You practice your little aim deal. Now what we have to do is we just have to remove something from our swing, and that's gonna be the rotation in our hands. So many times we start rotating the hands. What it does is it gets that club head behind you. You can get away with it with wedges and things like that, but with the long irons, you're doomed. We cannot do that. So we can't rotate. I want you to feel like that club head is really staying out here on your backswing. No rotation. If anything, you're gonna feel like that club face is more shut going back. You're not gonna shut it. It's just not gonna go open. So we're removing all of this stuff from the swing. Make sense? So a great way to do that is do this little practice move here where it all comes back the same. Those hands don't even move. So I want you to just look at your glove and make sure it doesn't twist. That's all you're gonna do. Okay. And that's gonna be your little pre-shot routine right in there. Beautiful. Now go ahead and make it happen. You might rotate a little, okay? Don't worry about that. Just worry about what it feels like because this has got to come out for these to work. At least some 50% of what we're normally doing right now, we've got to remove that. You do that, then there's only one thing left to do. All right, final piece of the puzzle here. And wh why, why? Why are we even doing this? Because I believe long irons are a great weapon to have in your golf bag and especially with the way they're making long irons these days i i definitely love them and i use a five wood so i don't like to hit a hybrid off the tee box it just goes too high i like to hit it lower on the short hole so something to consider but we got to make sure we hit fairways here's the final piece of the puzzle get a little box or some ball box it doesn't matter you can put it down right by your back foot this is key. This is your little drill to really help you out. Put it by your toe. Not all the way on your toe, but just so the front of the box is right at your toe. That's where you want it. Touch it. Then make sure your setup's good. Everything's good. Now, here's what people do. A lot of people rotate like this, and that's going to move that box. So we don't want that. What we want to do is rotate like this. So we're driving off that back toe. Everything's on the inside of that back foot and it's turning this way. So we would never hit that box and it would look something like this, hopefully. Right in there. What it's going to cause you to do is rotate forward and through and drive off the back. A lot of times we're trying to get this ball in the air and we stay back on that. And then we do something like that. And that ruins all the hard work you put into hitting that long iron. So just having that there will cause your body to move this direction. And that's what we need in order to really hit some perfect shots is what we're looking for. And that's all she wrote. Those are the keys to really making sure you can pure your long irons. Good luck to you. Work hard. That helps. And, uh, don't quit. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. How far can I go? Love it.